crap, these tires are huge. It doesn't even fit in the frame. <laughs> What's up guys? So this is Liz and I's first weekend off together in like two weeks. So of course that usually means that we have a bunch of stuff to do and we're gonna knock all that stuff out. But I'm gonna keep all the boring stuff out of it um, just because, you know, it's boring. So this is gonna be a weekend vlog. I haven't done one of these in a while. So right now Liz and I, we're gonna head over to Pet Boys and get the tires installed on her Jeep. Those new big ridiculous ass tires that we got and we're gonna run some errands, we're gonna do some stuff, and you'll see all the interesting bits. So, welcome back, guys, welcome back. So Liz's tires started getting kind of bald. We went with some mud terrains last time. She's had them about three, almost four years, and it's a brand that a lot of people never heard of called Kenda. They essentially make like bicycle tires, but because they lasted such a long time, we decided to go with the same brand, but holy crap, look at the size of these things. And we went all terrains this time because maybe there'll be a little less noise, but Jesus, these are huge compared to those. They're actually 315, 70, 17. And those are, I think, 255, 75, 17. So these equal out to about a 32 inch tire these equal out to about a 34 i believe oh it's gonna look so good <laughs> that's awesome right there holy crap we fit all five tires inside always impressed at how much can actually fit inside that thing nice so we just finished eating here and it's expensive. Their biscuits are expensive, but it was really good. It was $23 for two coffees. Biscuits two biscuits and two coffees and a side of hash browns. But I had to be difficult with my, my biscuit. But my, yeah, you were difficult with your biscuit, but my biscuit was simple. It was a biscuit. With was your, just a biscuit. $3. I could have taken you to Bojangles for that. Nah, Not man. Not like a, a bunch of biscuits. Nah, man, it wouldn't have been as good. <laughs> that looks good. Damn, that looks good. That looks good. I like it. Let's go check it out. Let's go pay for this ish. <laughs> it's definitely taller. It's definitely taller. Dang. I was really worried these weren't going to fit, but they're 34s. It should have fit just fine, and it did. They definitely stick out a little bit more like than it. before, but not like to where it's like crazy. It's not obnoxious. It's definitely not obnoxious, but. I was really worried that the tires were too big for the wheel and that we would have to go like wider on the wheel, but dang. Her Jeep. My Jeep. It's adorable. Looks good, man. Looks good. Agenda. What do we got? What are we doing? Popcorn, five dollar bucket. I got my emergency brake on because I'm an idiot. And we're gonna Netflix. Are we Netflixing or are we red boxing? Red boxing. Red box and chill. Red box and chill. No, for real. We're gonna like watch a movie. Chill. Like literal, like we're gonna hang out on the couch and chill. See? Right? Yeah, I got a dollar twenty-five off. Damn, girl. Wham, wham, wham. That sound. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> what are we watching, anyways? Um. What's the plan? We could watch Rough Night. Rough Night. We could watch Snatched. 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 We could watch. That's super inappropriate. Snatched. Is Wonder Woman out yet? I don't think so. Okay. Movie chick popcorn chick. Um, it wouldn't fit. <laughs> oh well. Burda 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 burda. We are straight up picking out tonight. We've got pizza. The best pizza in the world. That's mine. That's disgusting. 
That one's amazing. We've got ice cream sandwiches. We've got White Castle cheeseburgers. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the appetizer. <laughs> and we got Liz's pizza. That's right. Yes, we each are gonna get our own pizza because why not? And Sour Patch. And a messy, messy couch. We're all gonna hang out tonight. And popcorn. Yes, we did eat it in the car so we can close it. Perfect. It's gonna be a good night, right? It's gonna be a hell of a good night. You know why? Why? No pants. <laughs> <laughs> all right, no pants. <laughs> So today I got to knock out Liz's brakes on her Jeep. I noticed when I got the tires put on that the rotor on the driver's side is completely destroyed on, on hers. So I'll show you guys here in a second. The front rotor is like this, man. So if you notice, there's some serious grooves in here, man. That is so bad. The other side is nothing like this, man. This cannot be resurfaced. This is a solid two or three millimeters, if not more deep. There's a serious lip right here. We went ahead and just got new rotors and pads. So I have no idea what happened, but holy crap, there's still padding left. Like not much, but not enough to cause the rotor to like have those huge grooves in it. But it's like something got stuck like a rock or something. I have no idea what the heck happened there. Maybe it's just a really crappy brake pad. All right, so I got the fresh rotors on with my greasy gloves. Got the new pads on, got them greased up. And now I gotta do the other side. So I got the passenger side done, but this is not a good idea. Never do what I'm doing right here, which is putting the jack underneath an old brake rotor because the tires are so big, I couldn't get it lifted high enough. But this is a learning lesson for you guys. Do not do this. I already had it slip on me once. How's it feel? Like they work fine. They work fine? They're not like uh, jittery or anything like that? Like, sweet. Job done. Now that I've taken care of the Jeep, it's time to start taking care of this thing. So there's some videos coming up for this. You guys wanna see that. I gotta take care of that lip. I hate that freaking lip. It's ugly. It's plastic. I think I'm gonna replace it with a carbon fiber like the hood and the fenders. And then I want to. I need to take care of the headlights. They're a little foggy and doing some detailing. Gotta take care of the inside. So I've got some stuff coming for this one. So stay tuned for that. Comment below if you know where I need to take old rotors to get recycled. Every time I change brakes out, I feel really, really bad about just tossing these things in the garbage. So let me know guys. Oh, this is probably gonna look bad because it's super dark in here. But we're gonna pig out again. Crystals. <laughs> no! And these guys are being turds. And um, we're gonna watch the movies. And we will see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs> Bye.